My name is Elmer De Ori and I am from Budapest, Hungary. I studied art in Munich and Paris. I originally studied classical painting, but then I figured out that I had a love for expressionalism and cubism. I am not in a relationship and I do not have children. I do not have another job besides forgery. I initially tried to make a living as an honest artist, but then I figured out that I needed money, and so I decided to turn to forgery. Um, and I decided to pretend that I was a displaced Hungarian aristocrat from World War II that had a large art collection to sell. My forgeries took place between 1946 and 1964 when I decided to stop at about 58 years old, um, and I am an art forger. I sold my first forgeries in Paris when people said that my paintings looked like Picasso's. Um, I soon traveled all over Europe selling my paintings. Um, I then went to the United States and sold them in large major cities, but once some of them were discovered as fakes, I had to move to Mexico City briefly. Um, after Mexico City, I went back to the United States and continued to sell my paintings, but they were continuously discovered. So then I went back to Europe and ended up in Spain, where I went to jail for two months, but then remained until my death. My paintings were gradually being discovered as fakes, but the first official discovery that it was a fake was in 1955, so about nine years after I began. People gradually began to get suspicious about my artwork in the mid-1950s when a art curator realized that there were stylistic similarities between several of the paintings. Um, and then in 1955, I sold some work to an art dealer who realized there were fake and attempted to press charges. And then eventually in 1964, Interpol began to get involved with the forgeries. I was arrested and went to jail several times, but not for my forgeries. I first went to jail in the, in the 20s and 30s um, for minor crimes, and then I was imprisoned in a concentration camp during World War II, and then eventually when, near the end of my life, when I was in Spain, I was imprisoned for being gay and consorting with criminals in, um, Spain for two months. I died December 11th, 1976, when Spain agreed to extradite me to France on charges of fraud. Um, I took an overdose of sleeping pills when I found out that they were going to transfer me. Um, but there is a biography and a documentary about me.